Cincinnati's the opponent. They beat Las Vegas last week, 26-19. What impressed you about the Bengals in their win over the Raiders? Yeah, Mike, I think offensively, I mean, you saw them do a lot of different things. Uh, running the football, the screen game, pushing the ball vertical to the receiving threats that they have, working the intermediate part of the field uh, with the tight ends. You know, and defensively, it's, a, it's an attacking style defense, swarming. Uh, they just, you know, they played really good football, just like they've done most of the season. We hear so much about Cincinnati's offense. We don't really talk about Cincinnati's defense. What can you tell us about that side of the ball? Yeah, they're, they're doing a nice job over there. I mean, it starts up front, you know, at the lines of scrimmage, uh, that front seven. It, it's a good front seven. You know, DJ Reader kind of anchors the middle end there. Been there, I think, a couple years now. We certainly know him from his days in, in Houston. Two good edge players in, in Hubbard and Hendrickson. Hendrickson comes over from New Orleans as a free agent, a really good pass rusher. Two veteran or, or guys that are veteran in that system now with Pratt and Wilson at linebacker. Uh, the two safeties are outstanding players, um, Bell and, and Bates, and they're really long at corner. I think all those guys are right around six foot. They all run well. They play physical. So they've got players really at every level of the defense, but certainly that front seven is uh, its a stout group. From the Titans' perspective, let's talk about quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Is it too much to expect for him to stay as hot as he's been over the last two and a half games? No, I certainly hope so. Uh, it's not, Mike. I hope he continues on that trend. I mean, I hope that all of our players who've all played well at, at various times during, you know, during the course of the season. But it's it's playoff time. It's time to ramp our game up. It's time to, you know, to stay on that trend. The offensive line has got to do a really good job staving these these pass rushers off and giving Ryan a pocket to throw from. Uh, receivers and tight ends got to get open and catch. We've got to get this ground game going too. We've got to run the football. You know, we certainly need Ryan to stay on the track of taking care of the football and scoring touchdowns when we get down into the red zone. John, playoff football, Nissan Stadium, this Saturday afternoon. What do you expect that atmosphere to be like? Well, I hope it's loud and raucous like it's been the last couple of home games. I'm so proud of our fans and what they've done this season to come out and, and support us. Attendance has been outstanding. There's been a ton of two-tone blue in the stadium. And what better way to spend a Saturday afternoon in January than and coming to Nissan Stadium, getting getting a little lubed up, getting juiced up, bringing the energy and, and, and cheering us on to a win.